गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सक्सेस इंजीनियरिंग ऑफिशियल सो और नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज स्टेप नंबर फोर वी हैव डिड दिस फर्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज फ्रेश एयर कैलकुलेशन नाउ वी आर डूइंग द डिजाइन ऑफ एफ ए एच यू द फ्रेश एयर हैंडलिंग यूनिट मैनुअली सो यू कैन सी दिस इज वन ऑफ एक्सेल सीट ओके सो इन दिस एक्सेल सीट वी हैव टू जस्ट पुट द वैल्यू एंड वी विल गेट द आंसर this is the excel sheet for design of fresh air handling unit and this is for the hyderabad so we will see for this uh, for this uh, shaudi uh, or uh, we can see for the uae weather so i will just show you how to use this excel sheet for this our project so you can change here the location so before uh, before i start this video i would like to request you guys please uh, if you are still not subscribe my channel please do subscribing and uh, hit the bell icon as well so that you can get the notification of my upcoming videos so let us start now so you can see this is the location you have to change the location here make it uae we'll do the calculation for uae okay and uh, this is the outside dry valve temperature and outside wet valve temperature so how to get this uh, value let us open this app software okay and cancel this <coughs> cancel so go to this weather uh, weather properties and uh, double click this weather and uh, you can select here the region asia pacific or uh, middle east okay and in the middle east you will found here uae and i am going to calculate for dubai so for dubai you can see here you can found this uh, design drive will summer design drive bulb is uh, 107 and weight bulb is 75 so simply change this one 107 and weight bulb is 75 okay so simply uh, remove this okay i did the, this for the our other project okay so here is the cfm so our let us open this uh, our excel sheet which we did it load calculation so in our excel sheet uh, we got here 400 uh, sorry 4 ton so how much is the cfm so one ton is equal to here as per thumb rule one ton is equal to 400 cfm okay so in our case our well our tonnage is four so four into 400 we are getting 16, 1600 cfm okay <coughs> 4 into 400 we are getting 1600 okay 4 into 400 is equal to 1600 okay so this is our uh, cfm for our project so what you will do you have to simply enter here 1600 cfm okay and the dry bulb temperature is nothing but here is on coil and off coil on coil in the uh, is nothing but this is the ambient temperature and this is the indoor temperature human comfort temperature okay so here is the fresh air so here is the fhu simply rename this and getting 1600 cfm and dry bulb temperature is 107 degree fahrenheit okay and uh, wet, bulb, uh, wet bulb temperature is 75 degree and uh, these two value we can found from the psychometric chart so if you if you know these two value you can found this another two value so let us open this psychometric chart okay 
there is a, this is software for psychometric software so there is chart as well so you can uh, use that chart also okay so what you will do how to use this psychometric software simply click here new okay and uh, you can see here this is a set point okay simply click here and uh, add just add the point so we know the two values so our values is we know the dry bulb and wet bulb temperature so what we'll do here simply select enter here dry bulb temperature so dry bulb temperature is 107 degree fahrenheit and uh, you can select here whatever value you know here so we know the uh, wet bulb temperature so our wet bulb temperature is Seventy five degree. So simply enter here seventy five degree Fahrenheit. Once you enter this, let me zoom this one. Uh, let me try to zoom this so you will get it clearly. okay so you can see here uh, once I enter the weight valve uh, value 75 degree so it's zoom now uh, okay so let me show you okay so you can see here uh, where, uh, once I enter the weight valve value here I am getting here different so many parameters so in this I can found here RH RH is nothing but the relative humidity so RH is uh, 22.4 so simply enter this here relative humidity so relative humidity is 22.4 and this is uh, from the psychometric chart as well this uh, w so w is here you can found here this psychometric chart as well so let me zoom for you and this is the humidity ratio we can say grain per, uh, grain per pounds the unit is grain per pounds and it is called humidity ratio so humidity ratio in our case is uh, 79.5 so later in uh, let us enter this value here 79.5 so this is uh, this these two are user input and uh, this value let me change this no fill and let us uh, match this so these two are a uh, user input and this is we have to pound okay so this is over and in the second uh, this is the off coil temperature so off coil temperature is here 72 degrees for human comfort temperature and 50 degree is the relative humidity for human comfort temperature okay so 24 and 50 percent this is 24 degree and this 72 degree Fahrenheit is is if you convert this you will found 24 degree so in this case uh, human comfort temperature you know, we knows so two value we, we know so if we enter this two value we will get this another two value so again you have to use a psychometric chart you can save this point or uh, so we have applied and uh, you can add another point so point number two is uh, you can rename here of coil of coil and this is uh, okay okay so here of coil temperature is 72 degree and uh, you can select here relative humidity so uh, relative humidity is 50 percent so we can get it here the, the weight bulb temperature here weight bulb temperature is 60 degree and and humidity ratio is 58.6 so let us enter here weight bulb temperature is 60 and humidity ratio is 58.6 
six. Okay, so this is same. Okay. So this value is okay. Now is the SH. SH is nothing but the sensible heat and latent heat. So sensible heat, the formula is, uh, you can see here, the 1.08 into CFM into delta T and latent heat is 0 0.68 into CFM into delta T. So let us found this total 10 is <coughs> let us found here sensible heat so our formula for sense sensible heat is here. Here 1.08 CFM into delta T. So simply enter here our CFM is 1600 into delta T is nothing but the temperature outside minus inside so outside is 107 inside is 72 so let us calculate this how much we are getting one point zero eight into CFM 1600 into 1728 and delta T is 107 minus 72 35 okay 1.08 into 1600 into 35 so 60480 BTU per hour here Sensible it is six zero four eight zero six zero four eight zero six zero four eight zero BTU per hour. Okay, so convert into ten is divided by twelve thousand. We are getting five ten. Okay, so here is your five ten FH is required. 5 tier similarly we can calculate the latent heat so you can enter here 60480 60480 so I am getting here the uh, tennis for sensible heat and latent heat uh, 35668 so also calculate the latent heat Okay, so latent heat is here 0 0.68 into CFM into delta T. So simply enter here CFM 100 uh, 1600 and uh, delta W. This is the delta W is nothing but seventy nine point five minus 58.5 58. Okay, so 79 minus 58 okay 79.5 by 68.6 just calculate it 0 0.68 into simply first subtract this one 79.5 minus 58.6 into 1600 into 0 0.68 so we are getting 22,739 here 22, uh, 22 BTU per hour 22,739 22,739 BTU per hour is the latent heat okay so total heat is nothing but the sensible heat plus latent heat we added here I added here both of these 
okay so total 10 is 6.9 10 if h is required so i think you guys learn how to calculate how to design the fish air handling unit manually so thank you for watching my video so if you are still not subscribe to my channel please do subscribing and hit the bell icon as well so that you will get the notification of my upcoming videos whenever i upload the video you will get the notification for that video so thank you for watching my video thank you bye bye